Uh, I've made this video for uh, Din Wall and um, imagine this here was 200 foot tall. Um, you would have outer bearings and then off these outer bearings you'd have something like that. rod sticking off and that would go into some sort of framework and um, as you can see this here spins if I could hold this then it would um, the whole contraption if this was 200 feet would spin all together having bearings I don't know outer bearings maybe 40 feet 50 feet to stabilize it that sort of type of outer bearing um, so your wings would wouldn't be one piece but they'd all be joined to the same shaft so they would all turn as one and the outer bearings connected to framework as I already said would give it a huge amount of uh, strength and um, the footprint would be small and if you wanted to attach guy wires to it then you could but I wouldn't see the point as yet so that's, uh, that's the tube over here liquid nails or maxi nails great stuff <laughs> Um, so here's the tube and inside the tube is a bearing with a uh, hollow axle or we can have a rod axle it doesn't matter I just scrounged about my uh, friend's house hope he doesn't mind so um, you would have there's that inside so you'd have that and then you'd have a larger one of these going around the tube or metal pipe and um, so this is what it would this is what I'm trying to explain probably not very well um, of course none of this is in size but it was just to show in theory how it is possible to have a large contraption turning as one piece while having um, outer bearings for uh, strength um, that's about it. Okay, thanks very much. Bye-bye.